hey guys welcome back to my channel this is raven back with another dog recipe i hope you and your pup enjoy and stay safe so these are the ingredients that you'll be needing for this recipe so here we have four pounds of ground turkey i have a three pound package right here and then i just added an extra pound i have low fat cottage cheese broccoli cuts long grain natural brown rice fresh spinach and you can also use frozen spinach as well um, i have whole carrots baby carrots work as well i also have 100 percent pumpkin puree sweet potatoes and virgin coconut oil so now we're gonna go ahead and open up the turkey and get that going in the pan While the turkey is cooking, we're gonna go ahead and wash our carrots. As you see here, I grabbed a brand new sponge and right now I'm gonna go ahead and begin scrubbing off the dirt. So your carrot should look similar to this in texture. So in this recipe, um, I'm actually cooking the turkey, although I'm going to be later using an instant pot. It is totally up to you. Um, I just wanted to cook the turkey so that I can drain the grease. Next, we have the sweet potatoes that we're going to be peeling and washing. <laughs> So as you can see here, our turkey is almost finished cooking. So while that turkey is finishing up, we're going to go ahead and start on our carrots. And yes folks, I know it is a lot of chopping. So the meat is finally done cooking. We're gonna go ahead and strain all of the grease out now. So next up we have the sweet potatoes that need to be chopped up. As a reminder guys, I just want to let you guys know that you should always be selecting 100% um, pure pumpkin puree where the only ingredient is pumpkin. Now that we've made it to the end, we're going to go ahead and add our 3 cups of sweet potatoes, 2 cups of carrots, and as you can see I'm just trying to flatten it out, 5 cups of fro frozen spinach. Two cups of broccoli, one cup of rice, along with um, two cups of fresh water, and then here comes the turkey, four pounds of turkey. And 
I'm gonna go ahead and mash that all up so it can create more space after that you want to go ahead and get two-thirds can of pumpkin puree and add that in and then I like to just um, like mash it all around so the flavors can really soak in there last but finally not least we are going to add our coconut oil and i am using about three and a half teaspoons of that i accidentally forgot um i do add cottage cheese as well um it's actually optional though um I just like to add it because it's it's a great source of calcium for your dog now if you're cooking it in an instant pot you want to go ahead and set the timer for 15 minutes on the pressure cooker setting a few minutes later in this case I went ahead and did the manual release and here it is um, I'm just checking to make sure that all the veggies are softened up now I'm going to go ahead and mix it all up, make sure all the ingredients are mixed in together. This is the final product guys in this clip here you'll see me portioning out their meals for the week and putting the appropriate amount in the freezer so now i'm gonna go ahead and feed my dogs their dinner i did pop it in the microwave for about 20 seconds I like to serve my dogs um, lukewarm food, not too cold and not too hot. I think it's safe to say that they enjoy their food. What do you guys think? But anyways guys, um, to wrap this video up, I just want to remind you guys that when you cook homemade dog food, you want to make sure that you're giving your dog vitamins as well. Dogs need plenty of vitamins just like us humans. Um, this is just a brand that I use, but you know, you're more than welcome to research your own and find the one that would be best for dog's age and their breed. I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure you thumbs up and also share with all your doggy friends. Thank you guys and have a blessed day.